Right. Hello, I'm Eddie with Hilltop Camper and RV, and today I'll be showing you a 2023 Jayco Seneca 37K. As we look at the 37K here, you'll find Jayco's patented one piece front cap. You'll notice that there's absolutely no seams there, and you'll also find underneath some snow there, there is a secondary windshield up top. What's nice about that is it'll let in a lot of natural light, even on a gloomy day. Uh, the 30, or all the Senecas here are on a Freightliner S2 RV chassis. It's got a Cummins 360 horse engine and can tow up to 12,000 pounds. You'll notice that the exterior is all full body paint with dual pane frameless windows. We're going to have large storage underneath both sides and we'll also have pass-through storage. I want to show you back here where we've got our water hookup bay here as well as we've got a 8000 uh, quiet diesel generator. Now over the years, the chassis changed quite a bit, where one of the biggest changes they made is it went to more of your standard automotive fill, and it's got one fill, and it's a 100 gallon tank. So that's huge. As we scroll around the back here, you'll notice the back is a one piece molded fiberglass uh, cap. Again, full body paint, just a very nice look to it. Like we had mentioned before, we've got the 12,000 pound hitch and your standard seven way Bargman plug for your standard trailers these days. Also notice that you've got a ladder to give you access to the uh, fiberglass roof up there. So if you ever had to check seals or get up there for any reason, you can do that. All LED lighting with the third brake light, so very, very good for safety. So cars behind you will see that. As we get to the passenger side, we're gonna notice we've got bays down the, storage bays down the whole side of it here. Then here's where you'll notice our carpeted plus pass-through storage here. So you can fit bigger things like golf clubs, fishing poles, uh, another ladder if you wanted to, patios or uh, gazebo sets, anything you want. And then this one has got the option of the pull-out cooler here. So it gives you a little extra refrigeration space. All on a slide-out tray, very easy to operate. All right, let's take a look inside. All right, we're inside the 37K Jayco Seneca. I wanted to point out some of the things up front here. So we had talked about that secondary windshield. That's what that looks like. It does have a power shade that'll come down. So you've got a full blackout on top of the cab over bed here as well. These cabs, or the cab over bed here is rated at 750 pounds. It is about the size of a queen size bed. So two full grown adults have no problem sleeping up here. You do have a ladder. And also new is they've got this uh, catch here, safety net, if there is any children up there to kind of close that off. As we walk around here, you're gonna notice you've got a good size pantry here. All kinds of storage there. We've got the dinette here that is equipped with four seat belts. Also now has two restraints for children, uh, children's seats as well, child seats. Uh, here we've got an L-shaped kitchen here with a flip up table. You got matching counter or uh, sink covers here. You've got a two or two place induction cooktop. You've got a convection microwave and you have a full residential fridge. Here you'll notice the Firefly system. 
that's going to be kind of the brains of the whole uh, coach here. That'll run your slide outs, it'll run your air conditioners, it'll tell you the level of your uh, holding tanks, uh, all those things there it's going to be a part of, awning, it's just the full controls of the unit. And then underneath that you're going to find the uh, inverter there. All right, here in the living area, we've got a, a reclining couch that's all electric. You'll find buttons on the side to recline that. And there also will be three seat belts at the couch as well. So you've got plenty of uh, seat belts for your riders inside here. Across from the couch here, you're going to notice you've got a large TV. It's going to be a smart TV, as well as you've got a fireplace underneath there. The fireplace is going to put off heat. It's not just there for looks. And this will actually have three sources of heat. You've got two heat pumps in the two 15,000 BTU air conditioners that we've got with heat pumps. You've also got a 30,000 BTU uh, gas furnace in here. Uh, this one will also, this floor plan will also come with a bath and a half. So in the main living area, you've got a half bath. So if you did have other guests with you, they have their own bath. And then there's going to be a full bath uh, towards the end of the coach here in the master bedroom. Let's go check out the master bedroom. In the master bedroom, we're going to find a king size bed that's actually a reclining bed. So up to the top there, you'll notice that there's a switch to recline the bed so that you can put it all the way down or during the daytime you can have it up so you got a nice pathway to your bathroom here. All Senecas are going to be prepped for a washer dryer. Some will be a stackable, some will be a combination. This particular one is a stackable washer and dryer. So here we've got a rechargeable phone that you can set your smartphone on top of. It'll charge and it'll also pop up for a little USB port. So you've got multiple connections there. Uh, looking into the bathroom here, you're going to find storage. And then you also find a large uh, shower with a porcelain stool. As we look at the cab of the Seneca here, you'll notice again it's on that Freightliner chassis. You've got a nice size steering wheel there that will actually have tilt wheel there. To the right of that we're going to notice that there's the digital uh, gear selector and this will be an Allison transmission. you also notice that there's a Sony screen there that's going to be your backup camera, your side view camera, and also have Google Play and excuse me, Apple Play and Android Auto. So you can adapt your phone to that for different maps, uh, navigation, all those things, music, whatever it might be. Uh, all your controls for your leveling system are going to be underneath that. Then you have your standard dash controls there. Uh, they do come now with USB ports so that you can plug in your phone for charging as well. In addition to the one piece fiberglass roof, the interior has a fully padded uh, roof here. I bring that up for a couple reasons. It'll help with sound going down the road. Also will help with a little more insulation. I wanted to thank you guys for checking out our video here on the 2023 Jayco Seneca 37K. My name is Eddie and I'm with Hilltop Camper and RV.